is up, Coronacation? It is day 91. Is that right, Sam? 91? That's three months, I think. Oh, We've been doing Coronacation for three entire months. So, what do you think? I mean, it, that's pretty crazy to me. That yeah. I, I, Isaac, Tate, I don't know what I'm supposed to say here. Oh, well. Next segment. All right, guys, it is game time. We are playing one of the games I've made, and so you can play along at home, but I'm going to have Sam and Tyler. They're going to be competing for who wins this okay. game. So I want to fair fight here, gentlemen. Okay, okay. fair fight, fair fight. Okay. All right, so the first thing is you have to know how to play in oh, order really? to play a game. There's so that. a name is going to appear on the screen. Okay. And then the players will decide if it is real or fake. And then the next slide will show whether the sport is real or fake. Alright, it's all right, pretty right, simple. Right, right. It's like a few weeks ago when we did this Oh, game. yeah. yeah, yeah. Real Robot boxing, Robot boxing is the first one. Okay, there's a little like mechanical boxing. I'm gonna say, yeah, that's real. Uh, that's definitely real. Real? Uh -huh. It is actually fake. What? Uh, although it sounds epic, robot boxing is not an official sport of the world. There's a movie about that. I think there is too. Mm. The next one okay, is okay, okay, I got this one. toe wrestle. Oh, that's true. Yeah, real. Yeah, real. that's gotta be real. real. It is Boom, real. One Both point, of you have go. one point. But those have one point. It does sound kind of gross, but you can't argue with yeah. facts. You're, you're not wrong there. Sure. Trampoline dodgeball. Do you think it's real? That's real. I played that sport before. Yeah, me too. You think it's real? I play it like every time my cousin comes to my house. All right, it is yeah, real. Yeah, Both yeah, of you got it right. Two points. Here we go. The next one. The vomit competition. Yeah. No. Fake. 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 Yes. Fake. Fake. It is fake. Blah, blah, blah. I'm glad that's not a real thing on TV. Yeah, I feel like a lot of other people would throw up watching that, so. Yeah, yeah. Antiquing. Antiquing? Yes. So like collecting antiques from antiques. Is that a sport? Uh, I'm gonna say real, because I kind of do that. Real? I gotta say fake. Fake? That Let's wouldn't see. seem like a sport. All right, different ones. It is fake. Oh. Now we got it right. My grandma, my grandma. Down one. Down Sam, one. I think Sam is with this one. Okay, yeah. Wife carrying. Real. 100%. Real. I'm gonna have to say real. Oh real. gosh, she's going real. It is real! Whoa! 3v4, 3v4, 3v4! In Finland, men race through obstacle courses while carrying their wives on their back. It's, it's a real sport. It's Why? Alright, here we go. Skydive ironing. That's fake. fake. It's not possible. Fake. 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 How are you gonna iron clothes while you're falling through the sky? He's not wrong. It's actually real! Oh! A group of usually about three people skydive out of a plane, and while they're falling, they have this sheet, and they just iron clothes while they're skydiving. Thank Sounds you. pretty cool. How? You should look it up. Awesome. It's pretty cool. Alright, 3v4. Underwater, Underwater boxing. boxing. Real. Real? I say real. I say fake. Fake? Uh, oh, let's see. That it's real! It is yeah, real! Yeah, we tied it up for, for Tyler. Four. The round does are one minute and you must hold your breath for the entire round. That's crazy. How I can't even that? do it for like half the round. Yeah, I can't. I can't, I, I can't even do 30 seconds. Yeah, well, I can't. I can't do that. Alright, here we go. Squash, Squash throwing. throwing. I want to say that is one. I want to say real. That's real. probably real. Real. That is fake. Oh. What? Sounds like a waste of green vegetables to me. Okay, but nobody likes green vegetables. Well, if you Not don't everybody. eat your green vegetables, your ears will be pointed like Tucker's. Oh gosh, oh, you're right. Ooh. Eat your green vegetables. Alright, alright. Competitive chair stacking. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. <laughs> We feel like this real, should be a sport. Real. real you real. think it's real? Definitely. It is real. fake. What? <laughs> there may be some interns and volunteers who disagree with this. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, You've heard it here first. Breaking news. Me, Tyler, and Sam are going to make this a sport. Competitive yeah, chair stacking. Yeah. We will have it on next week's Coronacation. That will be our game. Yeah. Yep. Who can stack the chairs the quickest? It's happening. So make sure yeah, to watch happening. it. That's I'm happening next week. <laughs> that will happen next week. Watching time, standard time. So whenever you're watching, that's when it'll be happening. That's it, dude. That is the end of the game. We tied with the four. Tie. Let's go. Okay. Bring I, the tie. I have a tiebreaker. All right, tiebreaker. Oh, yay. The tiebreaker does not have to do with this game. Okay, 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 okay. okay. It is... What is my favorite football team? Football game? The Atlanta Falcons. You have to pick something different. Um. Uh, um. I'm 
Texas A Alabama. He is correct. Tyler wins the game. You're wearing a jersey. I'm also wearing a lanyard. A jersey's bigger than a lanyard, guys. Well, if you pay attention, I have this lanyard a lot more than I wear this jersey. Okay. I so, give it to you. You win. Oh, good job, I, good job, Tyler. Good job, Tyler. So Tyler won five to four. We will now go to story time. Boop, boop. What's up, guys? We're doing story time now. And my boy, IT Isaac Tate, is bringing the word about Jericho. Remember, we're still talking about faith, and so he's going to do it. I'm going to act it. So Sam's going to be our actor. We're going to talk about Joshua and the Israelites and the Battle of Jericho. So this is in Joshua 7. And so... Or wait, it's in 8. Or 6. What? It's, it's in, in a lot. It's in 5 and 6. It's in different chapters. There we go. So just go to the book of Joshua. You'll probably find mm -hmm. it. So the story of the Battle of Jericho begins with... The Israelites, they're just walking through Egypt. They've gotten out of slavery. Moses helped them get out of slavery. And so now Moses has passed away and Joshua is their new leader. Da -da -da. This is Joshua. I'm Joshua, the leader of the Israelites. And so Joshua has been leading the Israelites for a, a little while now. And he's just been listening to God. He's been praying. He's been asking God when he doesn't know what to do. And so this is another example of when Joshua doesn't know what to do. So they get to this city called Jericho. And Jericho is, is a pretty scary city. There's big walls and it's a lot of people and there's just a big military. And so people are just scared of Jericho. Like Jericho is pretty scary. And so the Israelites don't know what to do when they come to the city. And so Joshua goes and prays to God just like this. And when he prays to God, God tells him a very simple plan. And so God has this big plan, which is also simple and it's to walk around the city walls. And so for the first six days, they walk around it, just normal, just walking around the wall, carrying the Ark of the Covenant, and all the people walk around the wall. And then we get to the seventh day, and they walk around it seven times. <gasps> One, two, three, uh, uh. four. Seven <laughs> times. Uh, uh, wow, you get you got a bit busy busy there, Sam? Yeah. Oh, no. While Sam catches his breath. Catch your breath, Sam. Caught it for you. Thank you so much. Sure. So the people walked around the building on the seventh day seven times, the whole walls. And then once they were done walking around the walls, they all stopped and shouted and blew trumpets. <laughs> and just yelled as loud as they could, made as much noise as they could. And all the walls just came crashing down of Jericho. And so the Israelites were able to go in and just take over the city. And so that was all through Joshua's faith. Joshua had faith in God that he could ask God what to do. God would tell him the right thing to do. And once they did it, the Israelites were rewarded. And so that is our story on faith today. And we will see you in a minute. Guys, day 91, coronation is coming to an end. Um, Sam, do you have a question for us? Well, we like, I just wanted to ask, like, you know, this is our second one, right? And so last time we kind of, you know, did it for secret, but this time they kind of know. So we got to ask, which coronation do you like better? We want to know. So let us know. I mean, tell Andrew or, or Corey or whoever, like, whose coronation is better? Because I think ours is a little I bit better. Is better. But, 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 uh, but let us know. That's all we want to know. We will see you guys tomorrow or next week or whenever you watch again. Yep, bye.